Y'all, I got a very quick temper. Uh, it appears I have overreacted <laughs> on that whole Robin Hood deal. And I actually made a little money. So, I, I need to work on my patience, man. I, I, I swear to God I do. I swear I do. It's been years in the making of, of me working on my patience. I even got a tattoo about it years ago. There, the Guns and Roses thing. And then right above it, just a little patience. It's hard. But anyhow, I don't know what to think about this that old Trump was talking about today. Do they want us to stay at home and isolate or do they want us to work? I don't know. Which I got to work anyway. It is what it is, man. I got to be out here working. As long as I'm able. Just be really cautious of what you're doing, I guess. And, you know, keep your hands washed up. Try not to be all germy and shit, you know? I've noticed, I've, 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 I've been a little more better about washing my hands than I used to be. I damn right. My wife gave me this here shit from the house last night when I left and demanded that I take it. <laughs> I asked her, I showed her my hand and I said, hey, where's it at? Right there, from fucking around with those uh, fuel filters the other day, right there on the edge of my thumb. I said, baby, does that look infected or what? See? See what I mean? All your fucking cuts, everything on your hand, you're taking this with you. <laughs> so I took it. But, yeah, in all seriousness, you know, just be more cautious about if you're out here working with the rest of the public just be more super cautious than I guess you have in the past I mean it's what I'm doing I gotta I gotta be working still so it is what it is hell I'm getting waiting to <clears throat> I'm waiting to load some steel plate now going up to uh, Cleveland Ohio I It is what it is, you know. I heard on Fox News a while ago, I gotta tell you, I didn't really think a whole lot of Cuomo. I thought he was a, uh, you know, liberal piece of shit. But I'm gonna tell you what's the truth. He done, if y'all did not hear his press conference today, uh, it was on Fox News a while ago, it was pretty damn good. He, New York's in a hell of a bind right now. He said there's 25,000 cases up there. Uh, uh, probably, I would imagine, concentrated in the New York City area. But 25,000 cases. And, uh, of course, they're only expecting it to get worse, you know. Uh, he used the word apex, which I think kind of may mean like leveling off maybe but he said that may not be for another two weeks this shit is wild man just be cautious people if you're out here trucking or working or whatever the hell you're doing going to the grocery store which is what I did yesterday I stopped by the house <clears throat> because wife is home taking care of little bug fighting the cancer with her and uh, 
Joe ain't, Joe ain't really been exposed to to it because she's you know she stays at home. So I stopped by the house and and I went and uh, foraging for groceries and whatnot, which was a fucking chore in itself. Jesus Christ, had to go to three different grocery stores just to find one pack, one one pound pack of ground beef. Wow. But whatever you're doing, if you're out in the public, man, just be cautious, you know? Be smart, I guess. What else do you do if you gotta be out here? I, I, I for one, gotta be out here. Just like I'm sure a lot of you. You know? India, India is going to put 1.3 million people on a 21 day lockdown. According to Fox News a while ago is what I heard. 1.3 million people on a 21 day lockdown. That's why I'm out here still, man. Because what if that shit goes down here? How the fuck am I going to pay bills if I'm on a 21 day lockdown? Jesus, man. I'm fat and hot. It's probably gonna be high. Have you traveled anywhere to high this year? Come out. What is it? 111? I'm not 111. That's not right. That's not right. Oh, I seen them. I thought them was ones. I was about to say, what the hell? Hey, have y'all had anybody that is high? I swear to God, y'all, I thought she said, I'm not she. I thought that stupid damn uh, digital thermometer, when she, cause I wanted to see, I asked her, I don't know if you could hear me or not with the truck running. But, uh, you know, I wanted to know what my temperature was. I mean, you know, shit. And when she showed it to me, <laughs> there was three little lines kind of down in the corner and I shit y'all not, I, it, it looked like 111, which I mean, I'm like, what the, I'm thinking, what the hell? <laughs> but 111, you'd probably be fucking dead, I guess. I don't, I don't know much about the whole, I'm not too smart on that kind of stuff. But uh, I think, I think mine was 98.3. So, we ain't got the corona yet, motherfuckers. Fuck you, Corona. We'll be back. Y'all, I don't know if, uh, I don't. I don't know if y'all caught what that, uh, what that girl said that, uh, took my temperature. But uh, <clears throat> I had asked her, I'm a nosy motherfucker, dude, I'll admit it, especially when it comes to this shit going on in America right now. Uh, but I asked her, had they had any uh, drivers that, that, you know, busted out a high temperature? And uh, because if, if you do, then they ain't gonna let you in here to, to load or whatever, get your paperwork or whatever else. 
So I asked her, you know, had uh, had they had anybody that, that had busted out on a high temperature yet? No, not as of yet here at uh, Nucor. But she said they did have one yesterday in the county, in uh, Hertford County here, North Kakalaki. So, and believe me, this I, this is literally out here in the middle of no fucking where. Cofield, North Carolina. Literally the middle of fucking nowhere. So, this shit, man, it, I swear to God, a week ago, a week and a half ago, I don't think I was taking it as serious as I am now. It's, uh, it is obviously hell as y'all see on the news it is obviously very highly fucking contagious and uh get in gear motherfucker not like rvt trying to fucking drive i ought to call him and see if i can't get a fucking coaching call on how to shift gears you dumb fuck but uh y'all be careful we're gonna get this damn couple pieces of steel tied down and tarp. Y'all be careful. We'll catch you on the flip side. And remember, if you're out here trucking, man, or working or whatever you're doing, going to the grocery store, whatever you're doing, stay smart. Keep your fucking hands clean. You know, and I guess like everybody's saying, stay six feet from people, man. I'll just be smart about your daily activities. Y'all be cool.